What's up guys, this is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. So to round off up on last time, uh, we have been strate strategically picking off Swedish armies as they've been rampaging through the countryside. And to continue this effort, we are attacking this force that went down to Marseille and occupied the port. Our force is slightly depleted, but I'm pretty sure we will be more than up to the task. So let's take them out strategy with defeating Sweden is to hold the strategic choke point in France rather than meet them in rather than meet them purely in the open field because they very much do want or a fort battle that would also be useful okay let's put our artillery up here behind the line now behind the line but in front of the trees Form a long defensive line. Could hold the he could hold the farmhouse. No, I want to get them out of the trees. I want their army to be able to have to advance outside of the trees before opening up. So drop down my drop down my artillery. Spread my line out, A, to maximise firepower, and B, to minimise risk of flanking attacks. Drop our cavalry both flanks to be responsive to their heavy cavalry. General cover. I think my, I'm not sure if I managed to get my uh, howitzers retargeted or not in time. So the artillery, I've got one of the artillery units retargeted. Obviously, we've got the sound bug because that would be far too simple. I might start getting my one unit of howitzers to start bombarding. Their cavalry. Yeah, they're going to be engaged. But we've managed to get in square formation. Get our artillery back attacking their artillery. Deploy this infantry unit into square formation. Heavy cavalry. Not what I want. Not what I want engaging. I want my uh, square formation. To, I want them to charge my square formation. <laughs> okay, now. now. Now my cavalry opened up on them. Engage them with the heavies. Damn, danger close. get these men back out of line because they're about to get charged yeah, those dragoons they are going to make it but... okay foot artillery start bombarding the men in the centre howitzers fire across the battlefield at supporting targets you successfully got picked up okay these men push the flank with my cavalry let's fire along the battlefield get you guys into formation or into position we should be able to swamp their heavy cavalry they're better than us in the scrum P pike no oh. pike infantry Quick climb inbound. You have to change targets. You have to charge the pikes here. The second regiment of foot isn't really in a good position to uh, defeat the pikemen. 
let's just keep my artillery firing in supporting directions. Charge these men in. The 14th is in a good position to keep mowing the 37th down. They're going to push up to the farmhouse. Field artillery engaged the close targets. We destroyed their with their um, heavy cavalry. Fire by rank is working like a charm. You hit the guerrilla mercenaries. Yeah. So we need to keep making inroads with the pike and pike and rara, pike and rare, pike and rara. general you can try to chase down that regiment of foot you guys go after them you guys go after the artillery push up this flank yeah, one of our infantry units is ah understandable there that line of infantry unit is done for Ask for danger close quick line. That means my howitzers are a bit exposed as well. You're after the general. Try to get these guys inside the house. General's been taken out. So these houses, I'd be a bit concerned if I was them. Okay, you keep knocking out the guerrilla mercenaries, hopefully before these guys can do too much damage. You chase down that regiment of foot. You charge the 11th Regiment of Artillery. Get these guys out of line. Push up to engage the 1st Regiment of Foot. General's been... His job's been finished. Ah. Drop you guys into square. Chase down the marines. All my artillery hit the first foot guards that are now charging in. Let's get this cavalry over here to go hit the third horse guards. I mean, they should die. So the square formation, but counter charging with cavalry never hurts. have to go after that regiment rather than the marines well you know you could probably kill these 12 men off before they get too many more shots off we are losing dragoons to this but it's definitely worth doing definitely worth doing in order to, to destroy the marine unit which should die pretty soon come on there we go now go after that one there these guys are marching back there we go let's march up through the woods Got a lot of artillery fire attacking these uh, engineers. Not quite sure who it is they're attacking now, but.
you guys all take out that last infantryman. Good. Then march back. My light cavalry is chasing down the heavy cavalry. Just run my infantry up into a new line, retarget my foot artillery. And how else can continue to engage the first foot guards, but I suspect with this musketry they will be pushed back. Even though the hill's not a great position for that. Oh, so switch to round shot to attack the 3rd Regiment of Foot. You guys march in and hit. Hit the Engineers. You guys march up to here. Pretty much surround this infantry unit. It's probably speed up time now. I mean, my foot artillery is still engaging. Damn right, we're going to continue. Halt all the artillery fire. Everyone attack the 3rd Regiment of Foot. Or well, nearly everyone. They are the largest. And this regiment has been destroyed. Chase down the third. Make sure they don't leave. There we go. That wasn't close. I mean, it was a bit dodgy at one point. I must. Was not close. But there we go. So now they've been turned into an annoying routing force. You guys could spend whatever extra money you can on replenishment. This force is going to march up here to preempt these guys trying to get up to too much mischief. My rake is still on the move. See? So this army that was depleted. Okay, let's take the Swiss guards and the marines, put them in the garrison. Take the garrison and deploy them here, just out of range. Get you guys into the city. To try to see if you can action a river battle, but I don't want to get too close because they do have a control zone here. So, to try and see if we can intercept them across the river crossing, <clears throat> that would be pretty nice. I want to keep these guys here as a blocker for this army and whatever is building in Brussels. These guys are replenished and ready. So, we've got this army up here as well. Marching back. 22 grand next turn. How are we doing in the Americas? I mean, they definitely disembarked, haven't they? Yeah, they have. They just don't have any movement by land. Okie dokie. Good god, the Mughals just own so much damn land. Okay, let's hit enter and let everyone take on a little bit more. <laughs> they demand all these really good tech, all this fantastic technology, and they give me secular humanism. Uh, no. Suck it, Britain. This isn't one. You're, you're not. You're not worthwhile anymore. Ooh. Don't try anything, Ottoman Empire. I don't want to be at war with you. Yeah, Russians are continuing to steal tech. Another Swedish army off the coast. Oh, I shouldn't have really been building advanced tech. 
But there we go. They can't push on the capital, so they're going to sit around and raid my territory rather than actually uh, do something constructive. Make sure this army is being replenished because this is one of the few armies I've got that's loose and can actually intercept. Okay, so you guys march up and join Giovanni Contarini. You now need some cavalry, so you probably want to get some. Get two cuirassiers and get a. Ooh, one cuirassier, one household cavalry. And let's get some. Regiment of Horse. So three cav units. Maybe another set of artillery, but not one that has to go all the way around the map. Don't you need more marines? Big artillery unit, then that'll be that army. Uh, complete. You look like you're going to go and attack Mr. Bring. Lots of cavalry. Okay, let's march you guys to the north. Let's act as a bit of a blocker. Okay, let's give you some artillery. Pick up a general. Vito Sanchi. And let's pick up another 12 pounder unit. Let's pick up some foot howitzers. And that'll be it, although I pr I'll probably do some merging of my line. Because I don't need all this line infantry, so I may as well combine as much of it as I can. So I'm recruiting three artillery units. That gives me three spaces for cavalry, which is... Let's get heavy cavalry here to kind of represent uh, us recruiting... British upper echelons of society. Former heavy dragoons and all that kind of stuff. Then we'll get some hussars because hussars are neat. Let's pick up some economic upgrades. Pick up a Glasgow upgrade. So upgrade the Jesuit College just to keep the conversion going. We'll start to actually get some religious happiness, which is pretty awesome. Don't upgrade the cloth mill. These are all raids around France. So I could definitely do more interceptions than I'm currently doing. The main thing to do is to make sure that I am. Ooh, okay. You're being recruited from up north. Bad idea. Oh no, you are getting them from here. Okay. Okay. Well, chiefly, these guys can just hunker down and wait. Well, that's not strictly speaking a good garrison army. So maybe let's start to build one of those. Let's get some expats. So these are French, French well, former French Catholics that support us. So a good garrison army has a lot of is, is elite infantry heavy, has howitzers, some guns, and maybe one or two units of cavalry. Certainly not this much of cavalry, artillery, and infantry. This is an open field army. First, let's hop over to the Americas. Pick up this upgrade. Could do with roads. Pick up the Palatian Estate. Actually, no, don't do that yet. Because Mr. Castelli is marching on to Santo Domingo. I mean, I'm just going to auto that because I'm going to fight the Swedish battle instead. Because that is a tiny battle. If we didn't have much going on, then I would do it. But we do, so I'm not. Okay, let's get the... Let's get my weak navy spread out. So what have we got? Two shipyards... So let's demolish this shipyard. Because to be honest, we don't really have the money for more than one. Okay, 
dokey. Because right now it's cash. Cash is what we need. More so than military production. Um, but we're going to have a few battles to fight this turn. First, let's see if I can do some assassination tricks. Einar Lindholm. Nope. He got spotted. Do you have a general? Nope. You do. Gotthard Ole. Yeah. So close. Um, it's just the general that needs a punishment here. So let's go fight Mr. Eric Bring. So it's looking certainly likely that we will probably need to keep an army here in Britain to keep boards at bay. Although it would be interesting to do an amphibious attack and go and attack Norway to open up another front to give them somewhere else to focus on. Right now, in these few turns, we'll have destroyed... That's quite good there, actually. We will have destroyed um, a lot of Swedish forces. Spread my line out. Without much rhyme or reason. Ah, oh, gotta move my guns. So the force is mostly, well, not mostly, but a significant component of it is provincial cavalry, which is not very good. So we've not got much of our own cavalry to counter them, but that shouldn't be a problem. You go after them, you go after them. Actually, everyone go after the uh, cavalry right now. That is a delicious block of troops. Here they come. Ha <laughs> ha. Poor souls. But we are on the. This is an attack mission. So let's keep our infantry firing round shot. And keep our keep our infantry on the move. Certainly looking very uncomfortable. Here comes more quick line. Oh no, that's my round shot coming in. More round shot. Come on. You can see those howitzers light up. There they go. Oh, well, could have been timed perfectly if we waited. Look at that. We are bringing the war to them. Okay, let's send our hussars in to engage. Everyone drop into emergency squares. Pick new targets. I know they're definitely changing where they're attacking but we've got to pick new artillery targets or else our guns will kill our own men but there they go this is why you can't rely on lots of provincial cav because they can be repelled in square formations very easily Cavalry force is shattered. 35th regiment. 
look like they might be coming back. These guys are militia, so they might be a bit... They're a bit more vulnerable. Eh, against Dragoons, they're not so bad. Nice big target. Okay, this wing. You guys need to run into position. Hey there, provincial cavalry isn't actually routing, it was moonwalking back towards us. But still, get into position. get into position first for pulling something like this. It's not going to be optimal but it's going to be worthwhile doing. Ah, the guerrilla mercenaries are getting ready to defeat my Sars, but I'll just go around your spikes. God damn, quickly, I'm so good. Okay, this wing. You guys run up first quickly. There we go. So it's not effective, or it's not it's not um, efficient, but we've got more components of our army to battle. What's their guns? They never un they never uh, unlimbered their guns. Oh, enjoy, lads. Fire! Incept la générale. I kill the general because it looks like they're about to get a darn close to being encircled. Blunderbuss shotgunners. Quick climb harking in. Nope, they've had enough. <laughs> Let's have enough of that. So most of us should probably so they should win against the general's bodyguard, but the regiment, this regiment of militia is going to fall rapidly. To be honest, they're all falling quite rapidly. Let's get my general involved. 79th Regiment of Fusiliers. This is over. <laughs> Switch the round shot to engage. No, no, we are actually losing that cavalry fight. Blunderbuss shotgunners have returned. So I'll knock out these blunderbuss shotgunners. the sound bug. There we go. Fire! The regulars are charging in. Poor souls. So my intention... Okay, let's pivot these guys to make sure they don't kill my general, but I definitely want my general to chase down foot guards, probably, of that selection. Let's get my marines into the combat with the general. Let's just stop the artillery fire. Oh. They're going to rout anyway, so just get who you can get. Look at these poor swines. 
Light infantry. They've just marched to a crossfire. Got a whole. Oh, everyone's reloading. We're going to continue. Nope. Wait, what was I. Wait, hold on. Let's just speed up time. Yeah, go after the Fusiliers. They're the most competent. See, they're killing someone over there. Fusiliers are the better unit on the field. So let's make sure we kill them. And there go the Blunderbuss shotgunners. Yeah, that's the word you want to see. Look at that. They've got 800 men remaining. Obviously, they retreat north. As we expected. Um, let's cancel the building of this. You guys keep replenishing. You guys march west. And replenish. You guys pick up a new general. Dante Defendi. Not Ernesto. Pick up the gunnery school. No, actually, let's pick up... You're getting two seconds. Okay, so slowly building up another fleet. I oh, probably do want to keep you where you are. Just in case. Church school in Morocco. Okay, that's a great to Jesuit college because they're quite cheap. Help gain some of that religious happiness. Okay, you are nearly ready. So let's check our tech. Nothing major immediately coming. Should probably give classical economics rather than citizenship. But the recruitment cost is handy, especially as we need to grow a lot of troops very quickly. So let's just hit enter prior to ending the episode. And let's see. Again, a very one sided deal here. Nope. So a matter of time before it war with the Ottomans once more, but I think we're in a much stronger position now. And it'll be even more so as we push through Central Europe. Yeah. Paris is not going to be generating us much income. Opportunity to intercept, yeah, it's auto it. So once we've got my garrison army in Paris, I'm much going to be much more happy about sending the army that's currently to the southwest out to engage Spanish forces. Okay, so before we do all that, you take out Stierborn Vargatin. Just take him out. Avanti. You're gonna march up. You've got a lot more cool troops, which I might swap some out here. So let's take our militia and unit of line out back to the capital to reinforce this guy. Instead, I want to take your grenadier guards, please. In marcha, avanti. Then this army might go on an offensive mission to Christiana, or even Copenhagen. Great disco to a steam dry dock. Let's move uh, these ships out of here for now. Let's get another second and let's get some third rates being built. Uh, don't want to spend money in Morocco yet. Hop over to Santo Domingo. Let's pick up a port. Coffee or sugar? I think coffee is the valuable one. Coffee, yes. Buy a nose. Tobacco. Probably want to get another port upgraded first. These guys are still replenishing. 
Well, they are replenishing now. Good stuff. Okay, so you are to join up with Giovanni Contarini. There we go. Now we have another force into the mix. Or in the mix. You guys will punish what you can. Get to a bridge. This is the start of my garrison army being built, I think. So let's take you guys out. You guys in. Expats, infantry. Okay, you guys go over here temporarily. Just to block anyone. Block anyone who has any ideas of going west. Or anyone, block anyone who has any ideas of going east, I should say. Okay, you continue on your mission to infiltrate behind their lines. You infiltrate Amsterdam. This guy can continue attempting to assassinate generals. Got him. Yeah, definitely feels like the Ottomans are preparing for an attack. Let's get you back into Marseille. You need to keep an eye on this port, because Sweden is not above attacking and conducting a breakout. See, I'm at war with Russia. Russia's at war with me, but no one wants to take Athens. Or no one wants to fight over Greece. Prussians are fighting against the Ottomans, I believe. Yep, they are. Can't trade with them, sadly. But soon, I've taken you know, this band of cities and pushing on to Hanover, then we may establish friendly relations. But I think I want to grow the garrison just a bit more before doing anything too exotic. So let's hit end turn one more time. Nope. Don't worry. The Ottomans will, will pay if they attempt to conduct military ops against us. We will crush them. I mean, initially we'll probably take a bit of a hammering, but whatever. So, ah, the sneaky Russians raiding our trade lines, trade lanes. Another army is being pushed west. Man, I really need to start thinning out some of these Swedish armies. But that's why I've got the two armies coming up from Spain. That way, we've got a good protection around Paris. And we've got troops able to intercept individual armies and destroy them. So who is this? Just a sloop. It's just a sloop, but still... Oh, no, I was about to say better than anything I've got. Nope, these two fourth rates. Take him out. And you guys start to form the Cadiz Squadron. Pick up an Amros flagship first rate. Trade port upgrade. You guys get a sloop as well. Upgrade the mine, upgrade the Palatian state. Hop over to Cuba. Not Cuba, Santo Domingo. Probably don't need this happiness building. Because you're already pretty happy as it is. And Yeah, get rid of it. Upgrade the plantation and probably upgrade the roads. Yep, you don't have any good roads. Start to get more goods to market. Then we can move on and attack Antigua, and then San Jose. Good. 
We've got an army down here who's going to march here. I wanted him to come this side, but either way, I wanted to get this side of him and then attack. But I was sure I could do that in one turn, but maybe not. You guys keep replenishing. Okay, maybe I should stop building something. Stop building these things. Because I want the cash near Paris. So I do want howitzers because I can move them and target them. Unlike regular mortars because they're a bit pants. Then let's bulk out the city with some line infantry. I want these guys to be replenished as well. Good. Because then we're starting to get... Well, we've got numerical superiority. You guys here are still... Replenishing two. Servo vostro, signore. In marcia, altro signore. In marcia, avanti. There gets two more armies ready to go in London. So I probably am going to go and launch an attack to somewhere like Copenhagen or or Norway. Norway might be a good shout. Um, but either way, I think this is quite a natural time to end the episode. So. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of the Italian States. Cheers everyone.